Drinking buddies, today we're doing a special version of shelf versus allocated versus unicorn because I went ahead and throw in a second shelf bottle, see if that'll change anything up. And you know, there's maybe a little bit of a debate whether or not these are shelf bottles or not. We can take, we can talk about that in the comments, but let's just get started. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> these Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proofs are always in my area available. They might not be in your area, but I would consider these to be shelf bottles, not the 750s, the 375s. So if you have a total wine in your area or you have a liquor store in your area, you might not notice that they sometimes have a separate section for 375 milliliter bottles that the bourbon fans that go to the bourbon section don't often go to. And the, I think these are a really good kept secret, a well-kept secret that they're available like way more often than the 750. This one's 127.1 proof. This one is 131 proof. And then we have our allocated bottle, which is going to be a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof that was selected by Chris Fletcher, master distiller. And this is a 2021 bottle. Um, and it is a 129.1. So, and then last, we have our unicorn, which is going to be this year, sorry, 2022's Koi Hill, um, and it's 140.2 proof. Uh, why is this a unicorn? Well, it is hazmat, and they only released it in Tennessee. Uh, hazmat meaning it's over 140 proof. So this one should stick out since it's about 10 proof points higher than the rest, but it might not. I've had blinds where the, the proof points don't really stand out. Uh, what should stand out is it should be better than the rest. The wild card in this is this master distiller's pick. I don't know. Maybe they picked a really cherry barrel and this is phenomenal. We don't know. I, I've, I opened it today. I opened this one today. I've never had it before. And as you can see, I've had about half of this one. Well, drinking buddies, all we can really do is dive in. So glass one. I, I, I know I want to say, I apologize that sometimes I start over here and sometimes I start over here. My mind just works like that. But today, glass one is on this side. Pretty nice nose. Um, bananas, like banana candy, brown sugar. There's a little bit of a grain thing, like maybe like cornmeal. Hot, spicy bananas, <laughs> cinnamon bananas. Huh. Pear as well, pear. Spicy, spicy bananas. That tastes hot. Oh my gosh, this is... This is a completely different nose. This is old and rich and decadent. A little bit like damp books. Wet paper. Oak, a lot of oak. Still hot, not as hot as the first one. Interesting that I'm, I feel like these are tasting really hot right now, and it's not like proof shock. I had a, I filmed another video right before this, um, so it's not that the the pour I had right before this was another barrel proof, uh, but that they're both tasting very hot. Um, and you guys know I'm a proof hound. I, I love the over 130, under over 140 proof stuff. Yeah, that is um, noticeably better than the first one. A lot of bananas, once again, but it's it's more oak and it's more, um, it's older, it tastes older. Uh, more age on it. That youth quality that I got in the first one with the graininess is, is not on the second glass. Hmm. Now this is more of a similar nose to the first one. No. No, this is a more similar nose to the second one. Yeah, this is more, this is like that same sort of oaky, wet books. Um, 
like more more of like a, a like a rich syrup, a little bit of a rich syrup on the nose. Mmm. Well, that is noticeably better than the other two. There is a little bit of that youth thing that I got off of the first one on the nose. But the palette is just better than the other two. It's it's more mellow, there's, there's not as much heat. Um, less banana on here. I would say this is more, this is more like brown sugar cinnamon vanilla than, than the uh, banana Jack Daniels thing. Banana's there, but it's it's more subtle. That I really like. Class four. I don't really, I mean, I feel like this is aerating it and getting some air in there. I think it's just a nervous habit that I do. I don't really necessarily think it's doing that much. I just like to do it. When I'm not drinking my sample and it's in my hand, I like to stir it. I like to spin it. Very similar nose to these two. Very similar nose to these two. This is, um... Like damp basement. Like older bourbon nose. Wet oak. This one probably has the best nose, actually. The noses have kind of gotten better. Well, this one had the little bit of a grainy thing, but that one had the best palettes. Mm. Again, like a lot of heat, a lot of cinnamon, banana, not as good as three. I don't know why these are drinking so hot to me today, but but three is tasting like mellow and mild and awesome, and the other three are tasting like hotter than their proof. Um, I normally am a big Jack Daniels Barrel Proof fan, but I feel like if you gave me these four glasses and didn't tell me what I was drinking, I might only really like glass three. Um, so if that's the Koi Hill, this, this is a terribly failed experiment because Unicorn is dramatically better if that's the Koi Hill. I'm kind of hoping it's not. Well, you know what? That was a little bit more mellow on the second, on the second sip. You know what? Normally, I cut out my second sips. I'm not going to cut it this time because I want to see if maybe it wasn't a poop shock, and we'll see if maybe this is a little bit more mellow the second time around. A smidge, a smidge more mellow. I am enjoying that more now. Hmm. <coughs> that boy is still hot. That's drinking like Larceny Barrel Proof hot. I find like a 120 proof Larceny Barrel Proof drinks like it's 170 proof. Meanwhile, a 135 proof Stag Junior drinks like it's 110. That's, that's the one. That is the one. One, two, three, four. That's the way I like them. I think this is the Koi Hill because it's the hottest. But, I mean, I like it the least, so it's probably not the Koi Hill. I think this is more about just finding the best bottle, so I'm not going to guess any more than that. Plus, they're basically the same thing, so. So, yeah. Let's, let's just find out what we're looking at. My, my least favorite, I guess, we'll do first. My least favorite was the Koi Hill. Now last year's 139.2 proof Koi Hill was like, like chef's kiss good. This one to me is just it's just hot. It's just hot for the sake of being hot. Um, 
I don't know. I guess not all hazmat whiskeys are created equally. And this might get me canceled in the whiskey community because everybody loves Koi Hill, but that bottle is not for me. Um, I like these better, apparently. So my least favorite was the Koi Hill. Let's find out what my favorite was. Interesting. So my favorite was the allocated bottle, the specially selected by Chris Fletcher, Master Distiller, 2021. Allocated wins today. And then the two that were pretty similar that I kind of put in the same, um, in the same vein were the other two, two and four. Yeah, so these two guys. What did we learn today, drinking buddies? Today, the unicorn sucked, which is really good. Um, I mean, it didn't suck. It's still a good bottle, but compared to these, I do not like it. Um, if I had the choice between hunting for a Koi Hill and buying one of these on the shelf, I'm going to buy one of these on the shelf every day. If you're gonna hunt for something, hunt for a master distiller selected barrel. I mean, a store pick is gonna be great, but you pick one picked by somebody like Chris Fletcher, who's the master distiller there, that's just, that's a cherry barrel. There's, there's no way around that. They, they picked a cherry barrel and poured it in there and it is fantastic. It is noticeably better than two bottles that I like. Well, I don't know if I like this one because I just got it, but. Drinking buddies, I really appreciate every single one of you. I couldn't do this without you and I couldn't do this if you didn't like and subscribe. I really need you to go ahead and do that. Shows, uh, my data shows that about 90% of the people who watch my videos don't subscribe. All you gotta do is hit subscribe and uh, you won't miss out on a lot of the stuff I have coming up. I have some really cool stuff planned. Um, and you're not gonna wanna miss my next bottle haul came out pretty good. You might see a spoiler on the shelf. In fact, I'm probably gonna have to post this after that. Thanks for watching, Drinking Buddies. We'll see you on the next one.